I'm finally here to show you my full makeup routine start to finish. I'm gonna break this down as best as I can. So first I'm gonna do my brows. I use all the time my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I'll put all the product names and links below in the description box. So I'm gonna go through with my pomade as well as a little bit of brow powder. And then I just clean it up with concealer. If you're not subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications using that bell. Become part of the notification squad, the notification gang, whatever. And also join my Snapchat crew as well. I'll put all my social handles in the description box. All right, so to prime my face today, I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Wow, what a mouthful. But I either use this or the Makeup Forever gray one, the mattifying primer. And I have oily skin, so you want to use a primer according to your skin type. I pat that in really nicely, a little extra where I get oily. And then um, I'm just brushing or combing through my brows with my brow gel. Now I'm going to color correct because as you guys know, I am acne prone and I get a lot of dark spots I have lately, but have no fear. I just got a facial, you guys. I'm working on the issues. Okay, so I apply like the color corrector wherever the dark spots are too dark for me or they're kind of bothering me. Then I go in with a damp beauty blender using my e.l.f. makeup missing spray. And you want to go through and take your time and blend everything out. And I'm not going to speed up anything too much. I'm going to show you guys how the process works and how much you have to blend it for it to like look like your skin at the end. So I'm going to apply a little bit more color corrector and blend that in. And in case you guys are wondering, the reason I, I use like an orange concealer, it cancels out those dark spots, especially on brown skin types or brown skin tones. So yeah, that's why I use that concealer. And I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. And I don't think this is quite my summer shade. So I'm going to go back again over that with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And again, you want to blend this out thoroughly. First, I go with a stippling brush, and then I think I'm going to use my beauty blender to kind of blend that into my skin. Okay, okay, now that we're working with something, my foundation is matched nicely. I'm going to conceal or I guess highlight with concealer under my eyes. I use LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. I like to balance like warm and cool tones on my face. For some reason, my face looks orange when I use everything warm and it looks gray <laughs> when I use all cool tones. So I want a, a nice balance. And again, blend that out effortlessly really 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 good and i'm going to show you guys how i do that 
And I am using a beauty blender. This is the original beauty blender. I used the expensive one for under my eyes. You can get like a Real Techniques uh, beauty blender. I think that works good too. So I recommend either the original beauty blender or the Real Techniques orange beauty sponge. Those are the only two that I think work really well. So now I'm gonna take my Sacha Buttercup banana or the yellow powder and set those concealed areas under my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin. I'm gonna set that really, really well. This is one of those illogical but make perfect sense type of steps because the yellow is good for darker skin tones or brown skin tones because it brings out the warmth in our skin. So yeah, and I got this from a pro makeup artist, so and I think it works. Instead of like translucent powder, it can wash you out a little bit, especially when you have all that melanin. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave that on because when it sets in, it's gonna erase like the creases and it's also gonna help with oil control on my skin as well. And for my eyes, I'm just using one color from the Missy Lynn palette. It's like this warm brown, like a reddish brown. I'm just sweeping that over my lid. I also set my lids with translucent powder because they're super oily. And then I'm gonna go in with my first round of mascara and you wanna go through your lashes really, really well. I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And now I take a big fluffy brush and sweep that yellow powder off of my face. Just remove as much as you can. And of course, I'm gonna balance all this color out with some pressed powder, setting spray, all of that. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Powder and I'm gonna use that to contour. I didn't use any cream contour this time because it's approaching summer and although this is like a full face look, I don't feel like doing cream contour. <laughs> And to bring everything together, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. I'm just gonna blend the highlight, the contour, everything that's on my face together. And the powder is my skin tone. Then I'm gonna go in with these two blushes. I think one's Black Radiance and the other, I'll put it in the description. So I'm just gonna lightly flush my cheeks with that color and then set my face with my Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. And I learned this tip from someone who used to be Beyonce's makeup artist. Drench your face in setting powder. It really, really helps, but you wanna fan it so that it dries. I heard that Beyonce used to do this a lot. She like bathe in this thing. And I'm just going through, touching up my eyeshadow, adding a little flush of color. Another tip is to bring some of that under your eyes, especially if you have like those creases right under your eye. It kind of makes those seem less obvious because I mean, they're not going anywhere, right? So I'm gonna also use these lashes. They're like simple glamorous, like natural glamorous. They're the Salon Perfect 615 from Walmart, super affordable. And again, I'm showing the whole process to show you guys that this is not simple for me even now. <laughs> Putting on fake lashes is still a struggle, girl, okay. And the last step in my face routine is to use highlighter. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. I have the whole set and I think these are some of the best highlighters I've ever used. And I wasn't always into highlighters, but these are amazing. So I'm just putting that all over. Like when you go in the sun, wherever the sun beams on your face, I put it in all those areas. And then I go back and blend it out really nicely. And that's the name of the game here, blending, because you want everything to look nice on your face. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corners because this is somewhat a minimal makeup look, so I want it to look naturally glowy, if that makes sense. And now for my lips, I'm just lining my lips with some brown liner, 
and filling it in with some nude liner and then going over with some gloss. This is the NYX Plumping Gloss from Ulta and plumping glosses are great because I don't have the biggest lips or the most even lips. It gives you that pout that you want just with a little bit of lip liner or just nude lips. So I'm gonna go in and touch it up a little bit and my look is just about finished. So y'all, quick story about my hair. I totally forgot how to do these jumbo box braids. So I didn't film a look, but they ended up turning out A-OK. -okay. So if you guys want a tutorial, let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And when I get back from Jamaica, I'll do that video for you guys. So here's the final look. This is a quote unquote everyday makeup routine if you wanna wear a whole bunch of makeup and not look like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys, see you on the next video. Yeah.